Greetings, Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux fans. I've got a small announcement to let you all in on a not secret. It'll be out pretty soon, but it is a, uh, a little bit of an announcement broadcast that we're doing over here. So for those who haven't been keeping up, the current beta of Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux, or MAAR, is 5.01. Uh, in, in some of the early videos, I was calling it 5.1 and, and corrected it. It is actually 5.01 is the name of the beta that we've got out. There's a Mac version. There is a Windows PC version. The Windows PC version can be used on Linux computers with a little bit of finagling. No, it cannot be used on Chromebook. No, there is not an iOS version. No, there is not an Android version. If there's a comment down... You know the drill at this point. If you <laughs> if you have more than seven brain cells to rub together and can understand what I'm saying, there isn't a mobile version of it, okay? We've got an announcement that there is going to be a 5.2 version, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So, at the time of the 5.01 videos, we didn't really know what was going to happen with the future betas. Would the next beta be a six? What would be the ETA of it? How many betas before Goofy is confident and calling it release candidate? We didn't know the timelines. We didn't know the version numbers. We didn't know how it was going to proceed. However, there were several constant threads or common threads in what were the bugs in 5.01 and of course one of the biggest things was counter attacks and follow-up attacks they were inconsistent uh, some weapons were doing it some heroes were doing it some just weren't and some were straight up crashing the game now one thing i want to show you guys is that you should routinely be making a backup of your save file so that if you have a hard crash you have something that you can go back to and not lose your progress also you want to back this save up in case for some reason your save is not compatible with 5.2 so what you want to do is go into your maar beta 5.01 folder wherever you have it extracted you'll know you're in the right one if you see the two folders and the three files you're gonna go into Redux data, you're gonna go into resources, you're gonna go into saves, okay? This here, as you can see, this is the name of my agent, Agent Napon Dawn, there it is. And it's today's date now, because this is when I opened it. So it says last modified was today. You're gonna to take this file, and if you're on Windows, do Control C for a copy, go up a level, paste it in there and I would just give it another name like Napalm Dawn Old Save. Now your save file is backed up. Another thing you can do if you have multiple computers in a household, if you have some shared directory, either on a primary computer or a cloud drive, a NAS drive, whatever you want, you can take this save file and put it out there for safekeeping or, you know, throw it up to a cloud like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Box, you know, whatever. If you want to play the same version on multiple computers, the best thing to do is share out your drive or your folder containing the game, and then you can play it on multiple computers. If you just copy the save from computer to computer, you're going to be doing a lot of work and constantly updating updating it and copying and pasting it back and forth um goofy has not built in a ui element that says okay where is your save data if you had an element like that let's say you, you booted up the game and it said okay where are you hosting your save data where is it being saved and you picked a cloud drive on your network setup or a nas drive then it would work and any computer in your house would just constantly aim at that save file and you'd be good to go 
But right now, for just simplicity's sake, the best thing to do is take this file and back it up, I'd say maybe about once a week. That being said, let's go ahead and talk about what will be the update for 5.2. MIA, who is a coder that has been helping Goofy out quite a bit, as you can see here, Goofy calls her the newest full developer. MIA has said the team has been hard at work since we put out 5.1 and in a few weeks we're going to release the 5.2 update. So back when we said we didn't know the timeline, we didn't know the version numbers, now we actually do know something and the next update will not be a 5.5 or a 6 or anything like that, it's going to be 5.2. The main focus of this update will be to fix the crashes and freezes essentially a more stable version of what you've all been playing so far with a bunch of the bugs that you've reported getting fixed and those are here in this channel the beta 5 bugs channel one of which is when you train somebody from 13 to 14 they get stuck and they're in the training bay throughout eternity people think it's when they're going up to 15 instead it's 13 to 14, but it says 15 and then the training bottoms out. This is why you want to make backup saves because if you've accidentally done this, you now can't, re like this person can't recover cap. They're stuck. They're not going to be available. So you're going to have to go back in time to a version before you told cap to start training in order to get going again. So back to the announcement. Um, your save files should be able to carry over so that those of you who have been playing legit don't have to worry about losing your progress. Uh, again, before, the, before that day comes, when 5.2 is available for download, it'll probably be a small patch. You'll patch your game, back up that save file before you do the patch. And when I have a video for 5.2, I will remind you of it. MIA says this isn't a regular thing that we're going to do. There won't be a 5.3 and so on. After 5.2, the next one is 6. So there you go. We are now getting some of the timeline played out for you. We just felt that the beta is playable as it is, but we wanted to make sure it was a little bit more stable and balanced. So what MIA and Goofy are telling you is that they are, they are very aware developers. They're very aware coders and they're very community oriented. They see the constant bug reports and they see the common threads on them. And they've said, we're so close to making beta 5.01 very, very playable. Let's do a few tweaks, get it out now and continue putting a lot of the meat of the development into six. She also says there's going to be some minor goodies in this update to hold you over until the next big major things come out, probably six. We won't be answering questions about it, but we're announcing it now because starting tomorrow, and this was, I think, on the 11th that this got posted, I'm gonna occasionally be dropping some teaser pics of the new update and what it has to offer, so stay tuned. And here on Facebook, we can see one of the teasers, and that is Black Panther is out on the field, his abilities work and his mechanics work and his E ISO that expands his mechanic works. And God, I hope that's the dagger ISO. Oh, that dagger ISO was so good. If it's the dagger ISO, I'm going to absolutely love it. You can't see the smile on my face right now, but it hurts. Like my face hurts from the smile of thinking of getting the, the flashing daggers one. As you can see, the Radiant Cannon is being used by the agent in this image because they fixed the countering bug where counter weapons freeze the game. So that won't be an issue in the 5.2 patch and you can use stuff like Blade of the Guardian, one of Kingfisher's favorite blades that he used in, I would say, like almost all of his videos unless he was doing a set. He loved Blade of the Guardian. Uh, I think he also loved Mercurial for many years too, but um, yeah, that's 5.2. That's the announcement. When I get my hands on 5.2, I'll do a video on it. I'll show you how to extract the patch. We'll play the game for a little bit. And I will also remind you in that video 
to back up your save file and I'll show you how to do it. So again, 5.01, look at my previous videos. You'll get the download links for it. There'll be download links below. It's available for Windows PCs. It's available for Macs. By proxy, it should work on Linux. Uh, it can work on a Steam Deck, by the way. Um, it is not available for iOS. It's not available for Android. It is not available for Chrome OS. It is not available for any other operating system than the two major ones I mentioned. Windows PC, Mac OS, and again, sort of by proxy, Linux. Thank you all for checking out the video. Let's hold our collective breaths for 5.2 so we can start getting those really, really fun weapons out on the field again. Take care, everybody.